Brooklyn Independent Television. My name is Ward Williams, and I play cello and guitar. I'm from Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Grew up there. I think I've been in a band of some type pretty much nonstop ever since I was in sixth grade and started my first band. After school, I was in a band for 12 years called Jump Little Children that was based out of Charleston, South Carolina, and I played cello and guitar and sang back up with them. Every time we would come through New York, we would stay in Brooklyn with friends of ours. And I just really fell in love with the city. When the band ended in 2005, I was ready to move to New York. And I feel pretty lucky since I've been here because it seems like a lot of singer-songwriters and people who are in the pop world are really wanting more cello these days. So I found myself in the fortunate position of being really busy. I've been playing just being a side guy with a lot of different singer-songwriters. I feel like most of my creativity is sort of focused on just playing well and being a good backup musician. How am I doing? The, the green light is, is green. That's right, that's, that means it's in tune. Oh, okay. You're, this you're, one is red, it's not good. You're by far the best tune I had today. Aww. <laughs> that's because you didn't teach today. Everything about these situations is surprising. With Rachel Sage and playing with her uh, for this year, pretty much. Rachel played Lilith Fair, and so she's been very active with a lot of the artists who were who were in Lilith Fair. She just released her tenth record, so she's been going at it for you know for a long time. And actually, I think that her career and my career have been very had a lot of parallels in terms of when when we got started. And so I feel like we've seen a lot of the same changes in the music business. Everything that you've chosen to reveal is like a dream. Reveal is like a dream. My name is Rachel Sage. I am a live performer and a composer. I love Ward Williams because he is not only one of the most naturally gifted musicians that I've ever encountered, he's an extraordinary um, multi-instrumentalist, a wonderful cellist, and a fantastic guitarist, as well as a very proficient singer. Um, but he's also really, really funny on stage, and he's just, you know, so spontaneous, which is important with my work because I never like to do anything the same way twice. So we get along really well because he doesn't like to write anything down or to take notes. <laughs> so unlike other musicians with whom I've worked, he doesn't write chord charts, he just listens. He listens to me play a song once or twice, and in his magical, mystical brain of his, it all somehow takes hold and makes sense, and he's able to come up with, you know, just really supportive accompaniment, and then also surprise me on stage every night with new twists on everything that we're playing together. So it's been a, an incredible adventure, and I know we're just getting started. Classical training sort of honed a lot of my skills and improved my ear. And being in Jump Little Children was also great training in terms of 
you know, figuring out how to put cello into a band situation. A touring band was my first job with Jumpable Children, and so it's very comfortable just getting back out on the road and getting to meet a bunch of different people and play a lot of different venues. And, and it's been exciting just learning Rachel's music. And a lot of times when we play, it's just her and I. So there's, I'm finding, there's a temptation to sort of overplay when it's just the two of us, but I'm learning with her and with others, but how keeping just a really simple, beautiful part can really make a bigger impact than playing a whole bunch of notes. And of course there are times when I get to play a bunch, which is fun too, but it's just generally speaking in terms of fitting in with the song. It's like picking a couple of different notes and choosing where those go wisely. And it's, it's a lot of fun. Whereas with music, I feel pretty comfortable saying that it'll be a challenge to me for the rest of my life. And so I think that's a good career choice. Watch this and other Brooklyn Independent Television episodes online at brickartsmedia.org slash BIT.